Hey YouTubers, how you doing? My name's uh, NizMazo7. Uh, I picked up a new hobby recently. It's retro game collecting. Uh, and this is the first episode of Video Game Finder. Or Vintage Game Finder, I should say. Um, I'm doing figures, but it's, it's sparingly. It's more for a couple friends that are into that genre. And whenever I see some, I pick them up. So this is just basically eye candy. Uh, a lot of figures from the 80s. I pick up a lot of... Happy Meal uh, toys, Burger King toys, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm into the, the retro game collecting now. And um, <clears throat> it's been a couple weeks. And in those couple weeks, I haven't found much. Just uh, common titles, sports titles, PS2, you know, stuff that's a little bit more mainstream than what I'm trying to get, which is stuff from the 70s, 80s, and uh, early to mid-90s. So I went to this lady's house today, basically. Uh, she had a yard sale. I went up to her, talked to her about, about you know, what I was looking for. She didn't have anything on the tables. So um, she basically said she might have a couple things. She wasn't sure if it was what I was talking about. But I, I told her I'm looking for old Nintendo, old Sega stuff, even Atari. And, and she's like, okay, let me see. She moved a couple boxes around. And uh, she found some stuff. So basically, that's what the video is about. So, first, he showed me these games. I have Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the Not For Reso edition, which, if I remember correctly, uh, was bundled with the Genesis. Uh, NBA Jam, which is a fun game. Not as fun as Sonic 2, obviously. And uh, Night. Wait, Newman's Indie Car featuring N Nigel Manziel. Generic racing game, but it's you know like the other ones I have here. They're complete Have the pull-out poster even the registration card The labels aren't sunkissed We're doing great so far got Robocop 3 very bad game any game that's movie related It's gonna be suspect as far as gameplay goes But like I said with the other ones it's complete it has the pull-out poster and the labels intact Awesome, I thought it was great. You know this alone not bad for what I, the price I paid, which I'll tell you at the end, of, right before the video cuts off. This, to me, was my unicorn. I don't know, or I don't think, I'm going to come across something like this ever again. But, you know, I'm going to pass it on. I already have mine. So, here it is. The Sega Master System from Sega. Um, I, I still have my system when I grew up. Uh, six, seven years old, I got it instead of the Nintendo. I still have it. What I don't have is the zapper, which this came with, but she showed me this and my jaw dropped to the floor. I started having uh, uh, flashbacks of, you know, just playing and having so many great times with my cousins playing this stuff, you know. So here it is. <clears throat> I wasn't sure what was in here. I expected it not to be complete, and, and it is, and it's missing the RF switch, and, uh, Maybe, uh, yeah, it's supposed to come with another controller, but it came with one, okay, it came with the zap, the light phaser, which is difficult to find on its own for some reason, and the original uh, AC adapter, which is difficult to find as well. I have really hard time finding that, but they have re reproductions, which are a little less heavier, but, you know, supposedly it has the same quality. Here's the unit itself. Not bad, okay. Even comes with the instruction manual. This this thing is intact. And she tells me it was her sons and I believe her because she's like 80, 85 years old. So I'm not going to stand and argue with an old lady about that. So you're going to wonder how much I paid for all of this. And I can tell you right now, nobody's going to come up with that. But I'm going to tell you, for all of this and this, 12 bucks. And... Even now, while I'm making this video, I, I can't believe that I paid 12 bucks for this. So, um, there are deals out there. Um, I've, I've been inspired by the Game Chasers, which is on an, uh, another YouTube channel, which hopefully I can provide the link to if you haven't heard of them. They're pretty popular though, but those guys inspire me to uh, go ahead and go out there and, and find the deals. And, and for me, the thrill is the hunt, you know, finding it. Uh, and and you know trying to make a reasonable offer but not 
getting ripped off at the same time. It's it's actually for me it's a it's an art form that that not too many people talk about. But all of this for twelve bucks, I cannot complain. And for a first timer like me, it's it's definitely gonna get the ball rolling. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like. I'll have more videos coming up soon. Thank you very much.